three in the championship race for Spurs and this afternoon with George Graham in hospital it's Stuart Houston who takes the reins to try and guide Spurs to their first win since the 11th of March do you remember it it was 7-2 and a magnificent afternoon here at White Hart Lane it's 11th against six and John Gregory brings his side here well aware that they have the form advantage over Spurs but they haven't won here since August 1995 Villa have only lost twice in 25, but two wins in 12 for Spurs. Villa with Thompson providing Watson. And Thompson almost closed down. Botang on the chase to find Garboni Campbell loses him for a moment he tries! can breathe again and Stuart Houston will be looking on in despair at his defence two attempts and two cleared now, these games over the years have been particularly close 1995 was the last time that Villa managed to win here in White Hart Lane. An opportunity! Oh, the opening goal for Spurs! After just 15 minutes inside this first half, it was a tremendous ball from Genola. And waiting just inside the area to pass was that man. Spurs one, Villa nil, Carr, Armstrong versus Barry and James alert again. <laughs> Dublin, Campbell holding him off, only as far as Merson. Only one real test for Walker so far, and he had to stretch for it, Ginola. Finding a way through to Armstrong, and the touch just enough from Hugo Egeog, and what an experienced defender he's been so far for Villa. Better from Ginola, into the path of Armstrong! And David James has been put to the test four or five times now. And there was a great ball in Ginola's header. And then into the path of Armstrong, that scissors kick. Now the big question is whether this game started with ten players on, on the uh, Aston Villa side. Because Steve Watson wasn't on the field when the substitution was made. Everson. Carr. Armstrong making the run. He's on side. Can he tap it into the net? He can! It's 2-0 to Spurs. 
and calamity Aston Villa. It was early in the first half that Spurs took the lead. This great ball dropping nicely to Armstrong. James committing himself and pushing the ball into the path of Armstrong. It's Spurs 2, Villa nil. Nelson finds Carboni as they surge forward. Aston Villa trailing by two goals to nil, and it's Carboni cut out perfectly by Campbell. Another corner increasing the opportunities for Villa to get back into this game. He's taking his time though. And they really have to clear the lines quickly. And that was an appeal for a handball. And certainly from here, that's how it looked. And the Spurs players appealing to the referee. And he's consulting his assistant to find out if Stefan Everson, the goal scorer in the first half, had actually touched the ball because if he did, and it certainly looked like that was the case, then it's going to be a penalty kick. It's a penalty. And a hotly disputed penalty too. What a dramatic second half this is turning out to be. Just over an hour gone. And it's Dion Dublin. Nine goals to his credit so far this season. That is number 10. And he made it look so easy. Ian Walker. Diving the wrong way. And now Villa have pulled one back. Campbell swept away again and now Villa on the counter-attack Delaney nice ball with Carboni and now Dublin and that's the equaliser for Aston Villa it looked like it was coming in the last five minutes and it was Dion Dublin who scored so often in these games against Spurs. A tremendous ball in from Carboni. And almost a precision cross from the little Italian. And Dublin now with two goals in this match. The game was dead and buried. But now there's a glimmer of hope of at least taking a point with Carboni. He tries one! Absolute disaster for Spurs. 69 minutes on the clock and that man Carboni spells out what looks like a disastrous second half for Spurs. This has been quite a dramatic afternoon in White Hart Lane. And it's not over yet. Eleventh against six this afternoon. And Villa on the charge for Europe and another opportunity! An absolutely unbelievable from Villa. Alan Wright has had a fantastic game at the back. But there he came forward and on the volley, drilled it home. And Ian Walker, absolutely stunned by that. Ginola, and James loses it. And the referee will debate that. It looks certainly 
like he was rolling over the line. Ginola frustrated. But David James, he's done it not once but twice in this game. Anderton finds Armstrong. Anderton again on the 1 2. Barry and Armstrong. Oh, the shot! Oh, and that was a good shot indeed. Testing James yet again from Stephen Clements. Armstrong doing all the legwork. The Villa this afternoon are going for their 50th victory over Spurs in all competitions, the half century. And it's something that the management team here will not be delighted with. And that's the final whistle. And despite Everson's opening goal and then a smashing start to the second half with Armstrong knocking the ball into the back of the net, it was a double from Dublin a penalty and then a cracking scissors kick and then after that it was Carboni and Wright who made it 4-2.